Oh, internet is the root. Man, this pandemic has uh, really caused a lot of upheaval. I'm actually a bit concerned about the city cutting back services and the province not, uh, you know, providing any sort of uh, funding to prevent this from happening. Promising words mean nothing. Actually doing it means something. And why aren't they doing it? Why do they want to allow the city to literally go bankrupt and heaps of debt? I don't get it. That's just, uh... That's just questionable. To be honest. And... That's not good. Relevantly, that is not good at all. And besides, uh... Most businesses offering curbside delivery, walk-in takeout, whatever, you know, or curbside takeout, I don't care. Uh... That's actually a good thing. I'm glad uh, some of the stores have reopened so I can actually go to the store and get the items I needed. I had to go to the store a few times. Glad grocery stores are open. So that's a nice thing. Well, they've always been open. If they shut them out, they're gonna be fucking stupid. Uh, what else? Uh, I've been taking really long rides. Really, 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 really long rides around the city, actually, and outside the city, into the other, uh, Greater Toronto York, Peel, yeah, York Peel areas mostly, but not the Durham regional area yet. And I recently, uh, biked all the way to Hamilton from Aldershot going back, but I picked a horrible day to do it. That was, uh, I think that was around December. No, around, around family day, I think that's in January. I cannot recall what day that was. I'd have to relook on the calendar again. But it was a horrible day to choose because it was really windy. Heavy east winds, which ended up changing to heavy west winds. You know, heavy west, and they turned around overnight and went to heavy east. It made it almost impossible for me to get back. It took me ages to get back. Fifteen hours. Actually, no, not fifteen hours. It took me twelve hours to get back. Normally, if it wasn't that windy, it would have only taken me, to be honest, about, uh, let's say, 10 hours to get there, in between a hotel stay and then to get back. Not to mention, it was mostly uphill coming back, and that was a bit of a problem. So, yikes. Ouch. Yeah. That's a bit of an issue right there. So, uh, yeah. So far, let's just say this week I've done a total of 546 kilometers. That is a lot. And most businesses being closed. I didn't bother to stop for takeout to get coffee or anything like that. I simply ate at home and then went out. And I've been saving loads of money doing that. That's a good thing. How many of you have done that? You're legally allowed to exercise in Canada. And most parts of the states that are completely 100% law enforcement locked down. Luckily, that's not in Canada. I feel bad for those in parts of Europe. That's, that's not good. But whatever. If they want to blame all the uh, heart attack and stroke victims or other related chronic immobility and activity issues that occurred in those parts of Europe on COVID-19, no, 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 no. That's, that's, that's not a good thing at all. That is basically going to ruin it. That's basically a false statistic there. Ooh, that's not good. But, yeah, that's what's going to happen. People are going to end up being, hosp being hospitalized for inactivity. And I would hate to see that. But that's just the most obvious thing that's going to happen. So, regardless about this, I've been saving a lot of money, getting some good exercise every day to every second day, sometimes every third day if I'm very a bit busy. And, uh, yeah, it's been fun. It's been very fun, actually. For my mental health, getting exercise is important. And actually talking to people, because I've gotten a few to ask me directions and all that, and I've had to tell them. And that was funny, because. Sometimes GPS isn't accurate, sometimes maps doesn't have the correct address, and sometimes they get it mixed up. Sometimes the addresses are not even on the buildings or the houses at all. And then you actually have to look it up yourself to find it. And 
That involves sometimes driving if you drive a car, or riding if you use active transportation, or walking if you're on foot. And yeah, it can be confusing because I've, well, I've done DoorDash a few times. I gotta do it again because, you know, the weather's beautiful again. I can finally do it. Apparently, it's not horribly windy because I can make me late. How oh, is that relevant to this video? Nah, but whatever. That's what I do sometimes. So, uh. Yeah. Oh, the other part is, which I should have done in the first part of the video, I'm very proud of the, uh, the Toronto's mayor and other advocates doing the active TO thing. That means major road closures to provide calm streets and even side streets being closed. That allows basically turning one-way streets into two-way. I've noticed that quite a bit, quite a bit in the area between Eggleton, Lawrence, Keel, Caledonia, I should say, because the road split, and uh, Young, and parts of the east too. That's very nice and very good. The streets are actually for people. If you haven't ever figured that out, that was before cars ever got invented. And, you know, if it hadn't been for the bicycle, cars wouldn't have been invented at all. So that came after. Interesting fact, isn't it? What can help you feel like? So I've been taking advantage of that, and that's great. Anyways, a little non-relevant to this video, whatever, because it's a video blog. I have actually gotten a nice large pillar candle. It's inside this can. It took me a while to cut it short because it was butchered. Very horribly butchered, but now it's back to normal. And that's also a candle. But once that's all burnt down, because it's all rusted, I'm going to replace it. And I'm going to recycle it. Anyways, just thought I'd uh, do a short video, or maybe a long one. And yeah, see you around, people. Cheers. And peace out. And keep on riding. Keep on rocking this out, because... The only way we're going to be doing it is physical distancing. A mask will not protect you in that case. If you're close to somebody, because maybe it kind of might, but there's a high chance it might not. It involves a false sense of security. I've already known that for a fact. And uh, don't stay home 24-7 because you need to exercise. Unless you got the equipment at home, it's good to get out in the fresh air to exercise. Otherwise, you could run into issues. Recirculated air is not a good thing, and you need to get out in the sun. Remember, sunlight does good things for you. If the UV rate is high, use sunscreen. That's what I would do too. Anyways, peace out. Thank you for watching, and feel free to subscribe for more. It costs nothing, and I don't get paid to do any of this shit either. I used to, and then YouTube changed the rules, and then some dumb cuck actually ruined my channel by flagging every single video specific to their disliking. Yeah. I'm sure it's not just happened to me, it's happened to millions more content creators having the same problem. Someone dislikes your thoughts and opinions, your freedom of speech, and just decides to take everything down and result of that. It's sad, it's disappointing, and it's really immature. Anyways, cheers.